Luke pointed a Remington at the man's face. Talking is not a good choice for you at this moment. The man blanched and nodded. He was bleeding heavily from the wounds in his arms. If they weren't seen to, he'd bleed to death soon. How'd you like to live? You're worth $500 to me, so if you expect to get out of here, you better do what I say. You gonna let me live? Turner. You're Francis Turner. I take it back. You're only worth 300 at the moment. Of course, when I turn you over to the authorities at Fort Laramie, they'll add rape and murder and desecration of a corpse to your charges. That should get you up to $500, which is respectable. That De- that's a what? Mutilated. You burned bodies. I found that settler family. I never... That was Colonel. Colonel Goldsmith loves burning people like a normal man loves getting him some... Mm-hmm. The Indian girl streaked past him, a hatchet in her hand. <laughs> oh. 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 The blade struck Turner in the side of the head and stuck there. Stop! Luke flung an arm in front of the girl and threw her back against the table. I need him alive, damn it! The girl leaned on the table and glared at him, eyes blazing. Luke looked back at Turner, expecting the man to be dead. Instead, he blinked. Turner stared up at him with glassy eyes. What? The hatchet jutted from his head like a handle on a pot. The blade was stuck into his skull about a quarter of an inch, but he was still alive. Did she, did she scalp me? The pupil in one of Turner's eyes was drawn down tight, and the other one was dilated so far you couldn't see the iris. Lord, have mercy. Did she scalp me? No, she didn't scalp you. She stuck an axe in your head. There's an axe in my head? Damn right there's an axe in your head, you murdering son of a... Well, pull it out! I'm disarming you first. Pull it out! Turner was not in the mood to be reasonable. Luke kept the Remington trained on Turner and used his other hand to pull the man's pistol free. He slid it across the floor toward the trader, who picked it up. Long ropes of drool had started collecting at the corner of Turner's mouth and dripping into his beard. Sir, who are the women? Will they have family to come look after them? I am the family. That was my wife. The girl's my daughter, Rosie. I'm truly sorry for your loss. Pull the axe out of my head! Luke reached over and yanked the blade free. The wound looked like a ravine and immediately welled up with blood. If he wanted Turner to lead him to Goldsmith, he would have to dress the man's wounds. You got any laudanum? Not for him. 